Mitchell. I'm a board certified allergist and I want to talk to you today about one of my most popular blogs, why Benadryl is not the best antihistamine. For so many years people have always thought, oh if I have an allergic reaction I should take Benadryl. And again I commonly see that when people go to an emergency room uh, for an allergic reaction they're given Benadryl. Um, patients think when they go to the drugstore that's the best antihistamine to use. But just because it's the oldest, been around for such a long time, doesn't really make it the best one. So when I tell patients, I rarely use Benadryl uh, you know, for allergic reactions, especially if someone's having it on a chronic basis. The better choices today are, I think, one, Claritin. Uh, Claritin is what they call a non-sedating antihistamine. So it's not gonna cross into the brain, the blood-brain barrier, and make you tired. It also works very quickly. And in fact, today they have something called the Claritin Ready Tab, which you just peel off and put on your tongue and can work instantly. This is the kind of thing I have patients carry around in their wallet if they know they're prone to getting allergic reactions which they can't predict. Another type of antihistamine is called Allegra. And this one actually may be even stronger than Claritin. It lasts longer. So it has a lot of the benefits. It also doesn't affect uh, or go into the brain. So patients don't get tired. This one is one of my favorite ones for people that, who have chronic allergies. And finally, the other well-known antihistamine is Zyrtec. Now Zyrtec is based on an older antihistamine called hydroxyzine. And Zyrtec is very powerful. It's probably the most powerful of all the antihistamines I've just shown you. However, it can be sedating. People can get tired from it and as a result, not always tolerated. So this isn't always my first choice either. If you've been taking Zyrtec for a long time also, it lasts in your body even for several weeks, so you should be aware of that. Finally, if you're really suffering from chronic allergies frequently and you want to get to the underlying problem and treat it more permanently, something like sublingual allergy immunotherapy drops can really make a difference. Um, I suggest that you see your doctor and you ask them if you've been allergy tested, if they can uh, arrange for you to uh, get allergy drops so that you can have lasting protection.